All right, CISU team, today we're reviewing a personal favorite and a staple for pretty much all of my runners in their programming. It's going to be the Farmer's Carry March. You're gonna want two kettlebells or two dumbbells. Either way is fine. I find kettlebells a little easier to grip. My dumbbell handles are a little bit wider and fatter, which makes it harder to carry. You wanna pick, again, a pretty heavy load with this. This exercise is not a lot of up and down movement where you're pulling the weight against gravity. You're just holding it in your hands and trying to stay nice and tall and upright. So we wanna go heavy, heavy, heavy. And again, most, as with most exercises, this is about rhythm and control and posture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate and kind of move forward this way, and then I'll move off to the side and demonstrate moving across this way. With a carry, a loaded carry exercise, usually we're moving across a room. So you're gonna want some space to be able to do this. You're gonna grab the kettlebells, one in each hand. I typically recommend equal weight on both sides. You can certainly have asymmetrical weight and challenge yourself that way. That would be fine. Just be sure to switch it up so that both sides get that same challenge. With a loaded marching carry, you're trying to fight that weight and stay really tall and upright through your chest and shoulders. As you march, you're gonna pause in the march position, really soft landing moving forward, pause in the march position, and so on and so forth. Let me demonstrate from the side. We're really working to keep those weights still. We don't want a lot of sway and movement and to try and stay tall and upright. With each march posture, typically I want folks to take a pause. We want your knee to be about parallel with the floor. Toe flexed towards your nose as well. So everything's involved there. One of my favorite exercises, this particular move is gonna show up in pretty much all of my athletes' programs at some point. Give it a try.